the future is bright for the Shawnee Mission East bowling team. In a season that has proven more difficult than a 7-10 split, the team has shown that they've got talent to spare, working towards their goal of qualifying for state. The uh, season's gone fairly well. I mean, we have very few seniors, so we're still an underclassman group. Most of the scores are higher than all of last year's. Wish we had more practice time, but hey, it's COVID has kind of limited our capabilities and we're making do. There's a lot of good things to come this season. Our standards are just a lot higher and we're just a lot more consistent now. COVID has undoubtedly impacted the season, whether it be parents unable to attend meets or the initial trouble in finding a suitable alley to practice. However, nothing has impacted the season more than how the meets have been changed. We have to stay separated in competition. Usually we have our best, say, one and two players against all the other teams, one and two players. So you bowl with your level, so you have that competition. You know, that breaks the six foot rule they have for COVID. So we bowl as teams in pods. A lot of the kids miss going one on one with the other teams best. I like to look at other girls' scores to see what I need to do to beat them this year. I can't watch the other girls usually and know what I need a bowl to get first. But there are some benefits with this change. Many bowlers are finding that bowling alongside their team during meets can oftentimes yield better results. It's definitely just helps so much just being with your team this year because like there's just like no stress at all. We can talk to each other about how we need to improve and what to do to make it better. It just feels like a practice. For Shawnee Mission East, the competition within is what is driving the strikes and spares. Due to COVID-19, the Sunflower League is not taking as many individuals and teams to state. This year, only the four highest girls, the four highest boys, and the two highest teams will qualify for state. Despite this, the bowling team feels they still have a good shot. We have several boys and girls, if they bowl their best on that day, they will go to state and then they could actually lead their teams to state. That's our team goal.